Hi, welcome to Old Guys, Gentlemen, Flex Fountain Pens, episode number 44, I think. And today what I'm going to be covering is the Wall Eversharp Skyline. I've done some of these before. By the way, um, the ink that you're going to be seeing is done in Lamy Blue. Uh, it's a demi-sized pen. The design on it, I think, is called a Blue More. It's a 14K Eversharp nib. Uh, the dimensions on it are posted length 5 and an 8 inch, which is a little shorter than I like. The unposted length is 4 and 5 eighths inches, and that is definitely shorter than I like. <coughs> the cap length is 4 and 7 eighths, which is fine. The section Here, diameter, show you this now. So you can see here that, um, I guess that's not too bad writing like that. It just, it, it just feels like a, a um, short pen, uh, but without the cap, it, it just, and it's also, also really light and it's small down here. So those are things I don't like. It's a beautiful pen though, but uh, getting back to some of the dimensions, the, the section is only about three eighths of an inch. So you know, depending on where I hold it, and I, I probably will come up here closer to where the threads are to hold it just to make it a little bit more comfortable because the barrel diameter is 7 sixteenths, which isn't too bad. It writes from a double extra fine, almost triple extra fine in both directions. It's a little bit thicker coming down and can flex out to double bold plus. So I would definitely call this a full flex. Uh, it's really nice and smooth. The uh, response is really nice. Let's put one more line in here. Very responsive. And like with the other pens I've been doing recently, and with particularly the inks I'm using, for instance, on this Lamy Blue ink, it, it runs a little bit on the dry side, which I like. I hate writing stuff and having it smear and waiting forever to, um, to dry. On the other hand, when I flex, I want to make sure that I don't railroad. And this, this ink, among some others I have, seem to be pretty good for that. This Lamy Blue is a little bit drier than some of the Pelican 4001 inks that I use. But the with a with a light hand, you know, there's just it almost dries when it gets on there, and with a heavy hand, you get a bit longer. Uh, but with the wetter inks, uh, you would see this come all the way down here. So it's got a nice wetness for this nib. I have not railroaded on this nib at all. In fact, let's do, we'll do the hello again. Actually, I overdid it just a little bit there because that's the feed at the bottom. Oh, I didn't really show you a, a close-up. So there's the nib. These guys have interesting looking feeds as well, but they get the job done. Okay, so how about a little writing?
So it writes very smoothly, very nicely. More than enough flex for my style of writing. Overall, I'd say this is an extremely beautiful pen. And I like it for that, but it's just just a little bit on the small side. Now I'll show you. This is a um, standard size Skyline. And this is the one I've been showing you. So you wouldn't think that that would make that big of a difference, but it does. But I love these guys, and I'm on the hunt for a larger blue one. And there's a, a red one or garnet. Uh, I think these also occasionally, but more rare, come in gold caps. So anyhow, I hope you got some value out of that. Beautiful pen, a little small, but still a cool pen. I like these guys. Hope you got some value out of that. Uh, until the next video, thanks for watching.